Good morning, boys and girls. Well, this is it, our last lesson. We made it through all of this craziness and we're here at the end of the year. It kind of feels like the last day of school for me, but kind of not. It's very different, but we did it. We stayed strong, we worked hard, and you did all your lessons, and I feel so confident that you are ready for first grade. So let's get this last one done and we can move on next week to a week of celebration because you're gonna be first graders, okay? Great work. Let's take a look at the date. So, yesterday was Wednesday and that means today is Thursday and tomorrow will be Friday. Yesterday was the 13th, so today is the 14th and tomorrow will be the 15th. It's still May, we're almost halfway through. Let's take a look at the full date. There it is, May 14th, 2020. It is Thursday. The short form of the day is 5-14-20. Okay. And our days in school, we are going to add one more one to the ones place, starting to work on a new group of 10, but we're not going to make it, are we? This is it. Now we don't have zero ones. We have one. So we made it 171 days in school. Even with all that, all of this that's going on, we were so close. We're supposed to have 180 days of school. We were very close. I think we did really good. We had lots of days of school even after we didn't get to go back. So we did really well. But that's it for this year. We made it to 171. Good job. Okay, let's work on our math problem for the day. There it is. Go ahead and write it down. Work on it and come back when you're ready. Okay, let's work on this together. So, what operation are we using? Subtraction, right? Because we see a minus sign, so we are taking away. And we always start in the ones place all the way to the right. We see a three and a two there. If we have three and we take away two, what do we have left? One. We have, then we can move to the one, to tens place, right? Two and one, two, take away one is one. Now we can move to the hundreds place. Four take away one is, well, let's start at the little number and count up to the big number. Four, I mean, start at the little number. One, two, three, four, how many? Three, that's right. So our equation is 423 minus 112 is 311. Great work, you're so ready for first grade. All right, let's move on to phonics, our last phonics lesson together. All right, let's get to work on this final phonics lesson. We'll go through letter names and sounds and diagraphs and our, all of our vowel teams, our controlled vowels, diphthongs, all of those. We'll tap out some words and then I want to go through our full list of kindergarten sight words. So this lesson, when we're through with it, is one that you can reference back to and look at and say, these are all the things I need to know for first grade, okay? And, and a little bit more. So we won't go over our first grade sight words today, but we'll go over all of our kinder ones, and you should be able to read every single one of those sight words, okay? And if you can, you're on the great track for first grade. Let's get started with tapping out words. The first word is lean. What's the word? Lean. Fingers up. O e n. Lean. How many How many sounds? Three sounds. Arm sweep it. O e n. Lean. Good job. The next word is fabric. What's the word? Fabric. Fingers up. Ab. Er, I, k, fabric. How many sounds? Six sounds. Arm sweep it. 
a b o i k fabric good job the next word is stack what's the word stack fingers up st a k stack how many sounds four sounds arm sweep it st a k stack good job the next word is sheen. What's the word? Sheen. It means like shiny. Sheen. Fingers up. Sh e n. Sheen. How many sounds? Three sounds. Arm sweep it. Sh e n. Sheen. The next word, the last word is river. What's the word? River. Fingers up. R I V R River. How many sounds? Four sounds. Arm sweep it. R I V R River. Let's spell that one, okay? I'll say the sound. You say the letter. R R I I V R at the end of a word. E R. Good job. R I V E R. River. Good job. All right. On to letter names and sounds. This should be real simple. Here we go. U says a uh, or you. F says f. O says a uh, or o. P says p. V says m, R says r, N says m, L says o, J says j, S says s, D says d, H says h, T says t. K says k, W says w, X says x, A says a or a, I says i or i, G says g or j, Z says z, E says e or e. C says k or s. Y says y or e or i. B says b. M says m. Good job. All right, on to digraphs. Here we go. Oops, dropped one. J. Ng, mm. 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 qua, er, k, g, mm. w, ed, d, or t. Nice work. You know those so well. Okay, on to all of these vowel teams, our control vowels, diphthongs, variant vowels. Here we go. U or U, er, a, ow or u uh or u, er, O, R, Oi, Or, A, A, Ow or O, Er, Oi, E or I, E, A, 
O er U or U I A E E A E A I U or U A Nice work. Okay. On to our sight words. Now there's a lot, so this is going to take a little bit. I just want you to say it with me. Remember, reading sight words should be quick, right? We call them popcorn words because they should pop right into your head, right? So these should be easy for you. Let's do it. Here we go. Get closer. Two. Over. Out. We. A. You. Walk. Are. Soon. What. She. Every. Have. Just. There, be, with, take, into, go, of, give, said, her, will, like, some, away, this, find, could, them, there, help, was, went, our, see, good, then, very, to, look, that, me, down, who, when, my, one, and, your, he, so, the, come, ask, new, off, say, do, buy, no, play, saw, ate, now, where, up, I, little, must, here, they, only, make, for, but, from, how, all, is, came, on, put, day, many, and show. That is all of our kinder sight words. So over the summer, just to keep you guys practicing, you can go back to this video, you can mute it, and read the sight words on your own or do all of the letter the letter combination sounds and do all of all of this part of phonics on your own with me muted and practice and practice and practice so you don't forget and you're ready for first grade, okay? All right, let's go move on to the smart board. Okay, we are still working on those ow words. So, if we see o w or o u, we are using the ow sound for those words, okay? Here we go. 
Tower. Tower. Ch. Ow. Chow. S. Ow. Er. Sour. Ow, south. Sh, er, ow, d, shroud. B, er, ow, n, brown. K, ow, n, t, count. G. Er, ow, n, d, ground. O, ow, d, loud. Great work. Okay, on your own. Think. Tower. Think. Chow. Think. Sour. Think south. Think shroud. Think brown. Think count. Think ground. Think. Loud. Okay, we know these words. Let's read them nice and quick. Tower. Chow. Sour. South. Shroud. Brown. Count. Ground. Loud. Great work. Okay. Let's read these words, some of these words, in some sentences. Here we go. You need to go to the, think, south, think, tower. You need to go to the south tower. You need to go to the South Tower. Okay, let's read it like a human and not like a robot. Here we go. You need to go to the South Tower. You need to go to the South Tower. You need to go to the South Tower. Great work. Next sentence. There is a think brown think shroud on the think ground there is a brown shroud on the ground there is a brown shroud on the ground there is a brown shroud on the ground. Okay, let's swoop it. There is a brown shroud on the ground. There is a brown shroud on the ground. There is a brown shroud on the ground. Great work. Okay, let's go write some of these owl words. All right, so let's work on these our words. Remember, if I tell you it's a vowel team, you're going to use O-U, and if I say it's not a vowel team, you're going to use O-W, right? Okay, so first I'll give you the sound. You write the letter or letters for that sound, and we will make a word. The first sound in the first words, so you start all the way at the top, all the way to the left. The first sound is M. Mm. The next sound is ow, and it's a vowel team. The next sound is n. 
And the last sound is t. Got it? Okay, sound it out. What's the word? Mount. Good job. Let's write it together. The first sound was n. Then ow, and I said it's a vowel team, so o u. Then n. Then t. Mount. Good job. Okay. Below the word mount. Ready? I'm going to go quicker, okay, because this is how it will be in first grade. Okay, so be on your toes, focused, and ready to write. Here we go. Mm. Then ow, and it is a vowel team. Then ch. Then we're at the end of the word. This is the last sound, and the sound is er. Got it? Okay, what's the word? Voucher. Voucher. Kind of like a coupon? Yeah. So let's write the word voucher. Ready? V. It's a V. Then ow. And I said it is a vowel team again. O U. Then ch. That's a digraph, right? What two letters say ch? CH. Now we're at the end of the word, last sound, and it, it, the sound is er. Not just an R, right? It's an R controlled vowel. ER. Did you get it? I hope so. Voucher. Nice work. Okay. Below the word voucher, here we go. Oh, ow, and it is not a vowel team. Okay, last sound. We're at the end of the word. Er. Got it? Okay, sound it out. What's the word? Flower. Good. Let's write it together. What was the first sound we heard? Oh, then we heard ow, and I said it is not a vowel team. So what two letters? O double G. And the last sound was er, the end of the, uh, the end of the word. So not just an R, right? Just like voucher. Flower. Good job. Okay, now I'll give you the word. We'll tap it out, and you write it. Okay. We're going to go up here. The word is <clears throat> power. What's the word? Power. Fingers up. P. Ow. Er. Power. How many sounds? Three sounds. Now you should know this word and I shouldn't have to tell you whether it's a vowel team or not because we read it yesterday when we were reading words on the smart board. So see if you can remember. Power, power, three sounds. Go ahead and write it and come back when you're ready. Okay, let's write the word power. What do you hear first? P. Then we hear ow, right? Do you remember which one? If you remember from when we read it yesterday, you will know that it's an O-W word. Pow. Er, er, at the end of a word. Not just an R, right? E-R. Power. Let's check our sounds. P. Ow. Er. One, two, three, just like we said. Good work. Ready for the next one? Okay. Below power, the word is sound. What's the word? Sound. Fingers up. Ow, n, d, sound. Four sounds. Don't forget any of them, okay? I'll give you a hint. It does have a vowel team. Go ahead and write the word sound. Come back when you're ready.
Okay, let's write the word sound together. What do you hear first? S. Just a plain old S, right? Ow. I said it does have a vowel team, right? So what are we going to use? O U. N. And D. Sound. Let's check our sounds. Oh, check our sounds. S. Ow. N. D. One, two, three, four, just like we got, just like we said. There's the word sound. Good job. Okay, ready for this one? Might be a little more difficult, but I'll give you some hints. Ready? The word is bounce. Bounce. Fingers up. B. Ow. Mm. S. Bounce. Okay. We've got four sounds. I'll give you one hint. Well, I'll give you two. One of them is that it is a vowel team word. It does have a vowel team. Here's the other hint. There is no S. No S in this word. So think about it. Bounce. B. Ow. N. S. Okay, go ahead and write the word bounce and come back when you're ready. Okay, let's write the word bounce together. What do you hear first? B. Just a B. Ow, and I said it is a vowel team word, so O U. Mm. And, and our last sound is S, but I said it's not. It's not an S, right? So what other letter makes S? Soft C, right? But at the end of a word, we can't have a soft C without the bossy E because that bossy E is telling the C to say S instead of K. So there's the word bounce. Okay, check our sounds. B. Ow. Mm. S. One, two, three, four. Bounce. Great work. That was kind of tough, wasn't it? You got it. All right. Ready for your sentence? Okay. It's kind of long, but you've got this. The sentence is, the bee bounced from flower to flower. The bee bounced from flower to flower. The bee bounced from flower to flower. The bee bounced D. From flower to flower. Okay? You've got this. Let's count our words. The bee bounced from flower to flower. Seven words. You got it. Pause the video. Write your sentence and come back when you're ready. The bee bounced from flower to flower. Okay. You ready? Are you sure? Did you check your sentence? Did you make sure you have all the words? Did you make sure you have a capital at the beginning, finger spaces in between the words, and an ending mark? Okay, I trust you, here we go. The first word in the sentence was the. All right, capital T, because we're at the beginning of a sentence. That's a popcorn word, T-H-E, such an easy word to spell, right? The B. How do we spell the word B? Not just a letter B, right? Nope. You know this one. B. And a vowel team that says E. The B. Bounced. Okay, here's the word bounce. So we can start it, but we need an ending on there. Bounced. What ending do we need? ED says ed, d, or t, right? Bounced. The B bounced from, that's a popcorn word, from, 
flour. Two. That's a popcorn. Flour. What do I need at the end of my sentence? An ending mark. And this one's a period. Good job. Let's check it and make sure that we have all our words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The bee bounced from flower to flower. The bee bounced from flower to flower. Perfect. Let's read it like a human, though. The bee bounced from flower to flower. The bee bounced from flower to flower. One last time. The bee bounced from flower to flower. All right, great work. That was hard. Those are some hard words, and you did such a great job. And that's it. No more phonics. We're all done. Well, you'll have phonics next year. And it's going to get even more difficult, but you're going to get even more, sm even smarter, and you're going to do great, okay? So, you, you are ready. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned a lot, and I hope you know how smart you are. You're ready for this, okay? Let's go read one more story. I'll see you there. Okay, since it's our last day of school, I wanted to read you this book called Lizzie and the Last Day of School. It's a really great book. I think you'll like it. And maybe you might feel a lot like Lizzie and I do. So let's get started. Lizzie loved school. First, she loved nursery school. Then, Lizzie loved kindergarten even more. She loved the smell of new books and her little desk. She loved hearing the happy voices at playtime. She loved seeing the bright artwork in the halls, and the cool water from the drinking fountain always tasted the best. In fact, Lizzie loved everything about school. But when the last day of kindergarten came, Lizzie was sad. So that summer, Lizzie played school with her baby sister, Lulu. Now Lizzie was going to be a first grader. Your first year of school, said Mom, proudly handing her a new pencil case. Your first year of school, said Dad, handing her a new backpack. Even baby Lulu gave her a new giant box of crayons. Yippee, thought Lizzie, a whole year of school. On the first day of school, Lizzie's teacher printed her name on the board in big letters. Miss Giglian. But you can call me Miss G, she smiled. This is my first year of teaching and you are my first class. Let's make this the best year of school ever. Yippee, thought Lizzie. Even Miss G said it was a whole year of school. That fall, the librarian, Mrs. Reed, gave them the Centipede Reading Award because they read a hundred books. Everyone called them Miss G's Little Reading Centipedes. Lizzie brought home lots of books for Lulu. That winter, Mr. Muscle, the gym teacher, thought them how, taught them how to hop, skip, and jump to fast music. Even Miss G joined in. Jump back, everyone, Mr. M said, laughed Mr. Muscle. Here comes Miss G's jolly little jumpers. At home, Lizzie showed Lulu how to hop, skip, and jump. That spring, they won the Nature Study Award for their bee and butterfly garden. And the winner is... Miss G's honeybees, announced Mr. Gardner, the science teacher. Miss G made them wings, so they buzzed down the hall to their room. At home, Lizzie let Lulu try on her wings. Even the cafeteria ladies thought Miss G's class was the best, because her students ate their peas before their desserts. Here come Miss G's little green beans, they cooed. So Miss G made them all little green leaf hats to wear at lunchtime to remind them to eat their veggies first. Lizzie let Lulu wear her leaf hat at, din at dinner. But one day, they didn't go to the library because Miss Reed was taking inventory. Then, Miss G collected all their reading books, but didn't hand out any new ones. The next day, they cleaned out their garden, and Mr. Muscle took everyone outside for field day. 
But shouldn't we be doing math right now? asked Lizzie. Then it happened. Class, tomorrow is our last day of school, announced Miss G. It will be a half day and we will be cleaning out our desks, so please bring a big bag or box. All the, ch all the kids cheered. Yippee, they shouted. Tomorrow is the last day of school. But Lizzie didn't cheer. Lizzie didn't shout yippee. Lizzie just frowned. That night, Lizzie was very sad. Tomorrow is the last day of school, she cried. Not even a whole day, just a half. Look, said Mom, trying to cheer her up. Baby Lulu is bringing you chalk. She wants you to write the ABCs for her. But Lizzie was too sad to play school with baby Lulu. The next morning, Lizzie's school was bursting with happy noise. In no time, everyone's desks were cleaned out. Everyone hugged and waved goodbye. Everyone ran out the door. Everyone except Lizzie. Lizzie was the last, to leave, last one to leave. She didn't even hug Miss G goodbye. But halfway home, Lizzie stopped. This can't be the last day, she demanded. It was supposed to be a whole year of school. So Lizzie sneaked back just to make sure. Besides, she wanted to give Miss G a hug. School papers littered the sidewalk and parking lot. But Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, Mr. Broom, I'm sorry. Mr. Broom, the janitor, was stretched out in a lounge chair sipping lemon lemonade. Mr. Broom? Shouldn't you be sweeping up these papers, Lizzie asked. Hey, kid, school's out for summer. I'm taking the afternoon off. Lizzie slipped in, in the back door. Loud music was booming from the teacher's lounge. Lizzie looked in. The teachers were partying! But Miss G wasn't there, so Lizzie tiptoed down, down, tip down the hall toward her room. The hall had seemed too long, too quiet, and too empty. No kids lined up at the drinking fountain, no brightly colored artwork on the walls, no shiny planets and stars hanging from the ceiling. Lizzie felt very sad and lonely. Lizzie peeked in and saw Miss G, who looked just as sad and lonely as Lizzie. Miss G whispered, Miss G whispered Lizzie softly, I came back to give you a hug. As the two hug, Miss G hugged, Miss G sighed. Oh, Lizzie, you're just like me. We both love school so much that the last day makes us sad. Being just like Miss G made Lizzie feel better. Just then, the school secretary came running in, waving an envelope. Miss G, Miss G, you got a special, a special delivery from the town parks department. Miss G opened the letter. Yippee, she exclaimed, exclaimed, I'm going to teach summer school in the town park. And Lizzie, you can come. No last day of school for you or me. Now it was Lizzie's turn to yell yippee. As the two walked down the hall hand in hand, Miss G told Lizzie all about summer school. We'll make a kite and learn how to fly it, she said excitedly. Oh, there'll be swimming lessons twice a week. We'll take nature walks to study bugs and frogs and a trip to a farm to learn about tomatoes and watermelons. And of course, we'll have story time and snacks every day under the big shade tree. But that summer, Lizzie still played school with baby Lulu. Well, what did you think? Did you like the story about Lizzie's last day of school? Do you kind of feel the same way Lizzie does? I know I do. Usually on the last day of school, it just feels... I don't know, just sad. Of course, it's nice to be off and have the whole summer to do things, but I still always feel a little bit sad. What about you? And this year's definitely much different too. I've been sad since we never got to go back after spring break. I miss you guys so much and I'm gonna miss you all summer, but what I'm looking forward to is seeing you again in August and I hope that we will all be able to to be there very soon and, and we'll get to see each other again. Um, I know we will. It, it might take some time, but I'm hopeful that by August, when the new school year should be starting, we'll all get to see each other again. And you're always all welcome in my classroom to say hello, to give me hugs. You know, you'll always be my students like I've told you before. Okay? So this is our last lesson, but it doesn't mean that I'm not your teacher anymore, okay? I will always be 
your teacher. You will always be my students. And I definitely will never, ever forget this class. We have been through a very difficult time together, and I'm so proud of how you persevered and stayed motivated and determined to be ready for first grade. I love you so much, and I miss you. I will see you soon, okay? Have a great day. Bye.